Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a return to Bellevue with one big, very big difference. So aside from the difference that I'm going to talk about in just a second, one of the things I want to do in going back to Bellevue is uh, get even better at knowing that location, knowing the photo possibilities, exploring options, seeing differences, seeing change. Um, I kind of want to become an expert on downtown Bellevue street photography. So returning to a location over and over again sounds like it might get boring, but I think a big part of that is your attitude. If your attitude is, I want to learn about this place, I want to see differences, I want to try different things in coming back, it gives me freedom to do like I'm going to do today and try something very different, um, then it, it changes it from, oh, I'm just going back to Bellevue, to I'm going back to Bellevue to try something different and unique. So here's my unique and different thing to day. So what I'm doing today is bringing just one lens. So the lens I'm going to use today is the lens I've had probably the longest, which is the Fujinon uh, XF 35mm f1.4. I've had it over eight years. I got it when I got my X-T1. Sometimes I frankly forget I have it because it's sitting on my wife's camera. Debbie uses this lens a lot. She loves it. Uh, so this is going to be my lens for the day. Uh, my only lens. I'm not even bringing any of the zooms. <laughs> so uh Say a prayer for me and think happy thoughts as we go out and go create some photos on a sunny day. It's about uh, close to 70 degrees right now on its way to 80 something. Uh, so it should be a lovely day. No clouds right now that I'm seeing. Yep, no clouds. So again, I'm going to go look for different things. I'm going to take it a little easy, um, walk a little slower. I think that's another thing I want to concentrate on. So that's my plan for today. I will see you after the photos. Let me know what you think as always. If you have any suggestions uh, for content and ideas of ways I can make Bellevue more interesting, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you after the photos.
photos from Bellevue. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Love to have conversation with you about the photos. Uh, let's have a chat about the lens. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I have not used this lens very much, even though I've had it for almost ever. Uh, and there's a couple reasons for that. One, it's a, it's a focal length I don't see in very much. It's focal length I don't use very much. Um, another, as I mentioned also, is that it's often on my wife's camera. Debbie uses this lens a lot and really, really likes it. Briefly about this lens, uh, optically, as many people know, this is a very, very interesting lens. It has some really unique optical properties. Some people call it magic. This lens definitely has a little bit of personality to it, which um, some people like, some people don't. Uh, I do like it. I think it looks really, really lovely. But since this lens is one of Fuji's oldest lenses, it has some functional limits and one of those functional limits is its autofocus system. It's uh, an older style, a different style of motor than what's currently being used and it's uh, slow, <laughs> uh, relatively slow. Uh, it takes a minute, it hunts for a minute, it... Uh, here let me show you. You hear that? Yeah, it takes a little bit for it to find focus uh, and if you're in continuous autofocus it will It'll pulse, it'll... Whether it's a deal breaker, I don't know. It's a pretty neat lens. Uh, F1.4 is awesome. And this lens looks great at 1.4. In my daytime street photography, I don't use it very much at 1.4, but um, I'm mostly between 4.0 and 8.0. So, uh, don't really need that, but it's a, it's a lovely tiny lens. Uh, it's very discreet on the camera. Uh, so it's not like having a zoom lens that extends out and everybody sees you. So it's kind of cool. Uh, that was one of the fun things about walking around with this lens yesterday and looking at things differently through 35 millimeters only was, well, I did use the 13 on one shot, but shh, don't tell anybody, uh, is if, forced me to see differently. It forced me to move my feet a little bit. It forced me and helped me to look at things differently to anticipate what I might see uh, through 35 millimeters versus 16 to 80 or 70 to 300 or 10 to 24. So that was a good thing. And here's a benefit to returning to locations with a different lens is I knew where what some things would look like because I've been there often. So I could anticipate what might look good and where I might be good vantage points for this different focal length. So that's some thoughts on using a different lens. That's the thoughts on using this specific lens. Um, it's a great lens. If you get a chance to try one, I highly recommend this on the Fuji system. Uh, it's, it's a neat lens with lots and lots of personality. Uh, especially for portraits, it's it's amazing. So um, street photography, uh, I, I will stick with my zoom lenses. I There were a couple photos here where I really missed that extra 100 or 200 millimeters of reach, uh, especially on those welders with the sparks. Uh, that would have been great to get in a lot tighter. Um, also, compositionally for me, uh, framing up with paying attention to more context uh, is a little more complicated for me. It's not a way I'm used to seeing, but it's good exercise, good activity for my brain and for my photography skills. So, so it's always good to mix things up when you get a chance. Try some different lenses if that's a, uh, an option for you. Uh, renting lenses is a great idea to uh, try some different lenses if you're not sure of which one is the right one for for you. As I mentioned, one of my goals going forward is to become an expert, if you will, in street photos in downtown Bellevue, this area that I've been walking around. So I'll be returning there frequently over the next few weeks and uh, for the remainder of the year at least, uh, looking at different seasons, looking at different times of day. I, it's on my list to go uh, at dusk through evening. I know I'll be doing that sometime pretty soon and look forward to taking you along with me on that journey. If you have other suggestions or tips, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Again, I really enjoy having conversations with you all. Uh, it's a lot of fun and I get lots of good ideas and advice. So, so please continue adding that to the conversation. So uh, this is the point of the video where I usually ask you to do all the things you do at the end of a video, but I think you know what to do. You, if you like the video, please like it. If you wanna see more like this, please subscribe and I really appreciate it. I'm enjoying uh, again uh, this little bit of community we're slowly building and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So until that next video, stay safe, stay well, and have fun creating photos. Bye for now.